Hello, this is Mr. Cadella, and today I'm going to talk to you about where your work will be located in Schoology and how to do that work. It will be located in one of two places, the Assignments section, where most of our work will be, or the VTS Critiques. Those two places are where your work will be. Those are also located down here under the Assignments and VTS Critiques. It leads you to the same exact place. So make sure that when you start in Schoology, you click on News, but many times the news will tell you to either go to the assignments or to the critique section. And it's usually going to be assignments. So let's just pretend we clicked on news. The news told us to go to assignments. So we click on assignments. And there's an assignment right here. You need to make sure that you complete all assignments by the due date listed. Sometimes the due dates also appear in your Schoology calendar. Sometimes they do not. It is your responsibility to make sure that you have all work done by the due dates. If you need to put them into the calendar or your Google calendar or just a reminder on your phone or whatever, make sure you do that. I highly recommend that you get the Schoology app on your phone to get you some good updates and so you can have access to all your work on your phone as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this assignment right here and you'll see that it's actually a Google Form. Many of our projects will have Google Forms that go along with it. And the Google Form isn't just like a quiz or a test. It actually has, as you see in this one, a video. It'll have text in there to help you out, steps, pictures, so forth and so on. It is actually really for instruction, not just quizzes, although there will be questions in there. And you'll see the due date is September 11th for this one. So make sure you are getting all work done by the due dates. I'm going to go back to materials. Click on VTS Critiques and you'll see a critique in here. I'll go ahead and click on that. We'll talk more about VTS Critiques in another video, but this is another place you might find work. So those two places are the Assignments and the VTS Critiques. Now just a couple quick guidelines that you must remember when you're completing work in this class is that first read all the directions. Read them all through before you begin the assignment. Just don't start jumping into an assignment on the first couple points. Make sure you read all the directions. Also, make sure all work is school appropriate. That means no horror, no blood, no drugs or alcohol, no realistic weapons. And I'll talk a little bit about that. For example, um, a realistic weapon you might see on TV or whatever is not acceptable, but something cartoonish, you know, for example, like an oversized wooden mallet or something like that that you might see in a cartoon might be acceptable. It kind of really depends on how it's used. If you have any doubt, don't use it, okay? Remember, no violence, no real life people as well can be identified in your artwork. So for example, you just can't have your friend in your artwork. I know that may sound a little strict, but I will not allow that. You can have imaginary characters in your artwork, but no real life identifiable people unless the instructions ask for something like that. Also, nothing should be threatening or bullying in nature, of course. If you have any questions about any of those guidelines I talked about, please refer to your PLMS, that is Pleasantly Middle School, student handbook found on the school website. So check that school handbook if you have any questions about that as well. And you, of course, can email me and talk to me about that as well. Let me also talk about cheating and basically which is called academic dishonesty that will not be tolerated in this class please do not just copy a picture from online or anything like that and submit it as your own work that will be discovered and will be submitted to administration that is the principles for review and investigation